Hello, here's what you can do in order to free up storage on Samsung Galaxy A16 5G. First of all, we're gonna go to the settings. In the settings, we want to scroll down and find device care. And over here, you want to tap storage. Over here, you can take a look at the space that you have left and the space that is, of course, taken on the device. You can also swipe to the right in order to, for instance, check SD card and some additional options if um, they apply to your smartphone. Now, in order to see more, we can tap show more in order to find more details about the storage data or what is being uh, used. Now, in order to free up some space, we will need to remove something, of course. Uh, so what you can do is, for instance, go to trash. If you have removed something in the last 30 days, then it will be shown over here. Uh, I mean, at least pictures and videos. You can also take a look at specific apps that you use to handle the data, to check the data in order to check if there is also the trash. And most of the time, these apps give you 30 days to recover items. And if you want to get rid of them permanently and release some space, then of course, uh, this is how you can do this. We also have unused apps. So here we will find the list of apps that we barely use or not use at all. And we will be suggested to remove them. So if you don't use something, you can select it over here and then you can uninstall it. You can also see how much space they take. So you can see uh, how much um, space you will get back if you uninstall them. In addition to that, there is also an option to detect duplicate files. If the smartphone detects that something is similar, um, if there are two similar files or more, then it should be listed over here so you can get rid of duplicate uh, files. And last but not least, we also have large files. In this case, it says files bigger than 25 megabytes. So most of the videos, of course, will be included over here. And we can tap on these three dots over here in the top right corner in order to adjust the file size. So we can even set the custom size if we want to, so that some files will not be displayed over there that we may consider um, useful, let's say, right? So like small videos, etc. And of course, we can select anything that we wish to get rid of, and then we can delete it. And as you can see, we can also check how much space we will get back. And of course, you can also uninstall apps uh, by your own. Uh, if you take a look at the, for instance, app drawer, you can simply press and hold your finger on the app, and then you have the option to uninstall. And by doing so, of course, you can also free up some space. You can also go to, for instance, my files, in order to find everything pretty much, not only photos and videos, but also audio files, uh, documents, downloads, and so on and so forth. So it's worth checking out to see if there is some data or files that are not needed anymore, but they take, they might take uh, lots of space. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we also have managed storage in my files, so uh, you might want to take a look at it again. I mean, if you want to quickly um, go to the settings that I had shown you at the beginning because as, as you can see it is the same thing uh, So there is also this shortcut which might be useful for some people and that's all Thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye